Okay, as I promised in the last video, today we're going to do something that um, it's done with paper. <laughs> That's just cardstock. I'm going to use acrylic paint and we're going to make um, what could be pages for your journals. You could use them um, just as paintings, abstract paintings to be framed. I'm sure you can think of all kinds of creative ways of using these. I'm going to use several instruments here, plastic knife, a uh, small flat brush, a larger flat brush, a round brush, and palette knife. I'm going to use uh, several colors. I've got uh, unbleached titanium, sort of a cream color. I have, uh, I don't know, this is a gold. I'm not sure which gold it is. Oh, antique gold. Cadmium deep hue, red deep hue. And I have another color here. Oh, I thought maybe white. So we'll see. Oh, and a touch of, uh, a touch of, uh, Gold, quinacridone gold. Well, try it out with these colors anyway. Now we're just going to make random shapes and marks and go from there. So let's just get started with some. Let's go in with the I'm bleached titanium. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I also have two sheets of five uh, eight by ten cardstock taped, and I tried to tape it so that I will have a border on each of these four squares. When the tape comes off and the squares are cut, they'll each have a border. So let's just come in with this titanium. We're just being random here. No special rhyme or reason. Just some free abstract painting. All right. Let's add some of this gold, this antique gold. Let's start with a small brush, flat brush. Let's just try to spread some happiness <laughs> with our palette knife. Let's throw in some white here and there. using my round brush. Thank you. 
bit of a darker color. It's a quinacridone gold. It's a deeper, richer color. Okay, I think again with the palette knife. Just keep in mind balance. Okay. Now we're going to introduce some cadmium deep, red deep hue. And I think I will use my small flat brush Excuse me, bit of a dry throat, such a beautiful color. I think that's about it. Feels like it's missing something though, doesn't it? I think it would do well with some some black. Just my feeling. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's just some acrylic black, some inexpensive dollar and roundy, and not too much. Okay, let's see what we can do with that. I always like some black in my abstract paintings just because I find it grounds it and it gives it depth. I'm going to go in with my larger flat brush I don't want too much. Okay, let's leave it at that. 
I'm going to put the blow dryer over that. Maybe I'll dry that and we'll come back and do our, our reveal. I may, after I dry this, add a little bit of white on top of some of this black. Okay, this is quite dry. Um, you may notice it looks a little bit different because I had a couple spots where there was a lot of uh, paint. So what I did was dabbed it with um, a Kleenex and I liked the effect so I moved it around a little bit. Um, just like that. Maybe some of this red. Just lift it up and move it around. Yeah. So that's quite dry. Like I said, I'm going to add a tiny bit of white on some of the more solid colors. And as you see, I have left white space here. That gives your eye a bit of a rest. Helps add dimension. Just adding some white dots here. Like I said, just uh, give it a little more interest. Maybe a circle. All right, that should just about do it, I think. Now, I'm going to try to take this tape off without ripping my cardstock. Going to have to lift up here for a second. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't too painful. Okay. Yeah, so take off our tape. Slow and steady does it. As I said, this just gives it a border. We're going to be cutting our paper into four parts to be added to our journals or like I said, for card making, all kinds of uses. Best to sort of pull a little bit away from the paintings, gently. Let's take this middle piece off. Oh, a handful of tape here. Okay, and our last piece.
All right. Now I did get some little bit of tearing up here. I think I might have put the tape on a little too, pushed it down a little bit too much. Okay, so we will be cutting this down the center. If you want a smaller border, of course, you can always trim it up accordingly. Now, you can cut this down to make a 5 by 7 card or whatever size you choose to make. And that's, uh, see this gold? You get a little bit of a shimmer there. That's always fun. And there we have it. Like I said, you can find all kinds of uses, I'm sure, for these little uh, these little paintings. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's fun, it's quick, it's easy. Yeah, so if you enjoyed that, love a thumbs up. Um, would love to hear from you, always like to hear from you. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. You folks have a good day and I'll see you on the next one.